What's up everyone? John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo here. Tomorrow, September 9th, is Apple's It's All Rock and Roll special keynote. So I want to give a recap of what I would expect Apple to announce tomorrow. And you guys can re-watch this tomorrow and sort of see how I did, and I'll watch, see how I did as far as what actually gets announced. So sure thing, new iPod touches with what I assume will be a 3.5 megapixel autofocus camera on the back. I think the phone's going to look exactly the same, except it's going to have, well, the camera sensor on the back. I think we'll see the same sort of photo editing capabilities that we've seen on the current iPhone, although we may have a little bit more. I also would expect the release of iPhone software 3.1, perhaps ushering in some new photo editing capabilities. Since the camera is going to be one of the big announcements, um, I would expect there's a little bit more that's getting tied in with what we can do with it. Certainly, I wouldn't expect an iChat client to be released, but I would expect a little more, say, capabilities of what you can create and, well, not create with that camera on the back of the iPod Touch. So, awesome to that. You may also see some sort of built-in microphone on the iPod Touch to be used as a mobile voice over IP device, which would be quite handy. So, if you're abroad or if you've got a Wi-Fi, dial into Skype, call your mom, hey, mom picking up dinner. Boom, hang up. You don't have to have an iPhone unless you want one or any other phone. It's just nice to have uh, that option. I also expect the same cameras to make their way into the iPod Nanos. Now a little bit weird, I think they're just going to have the ability to take some rudimentary pictures. I don't think we're going to see any photo editing. Just some sort of standard, hey look, there's a picture of a plant. Click. Sort of like you would do on your standard flip phone. You can take a picture, and that's about it. I don't expect them to have Wi-Fi or anything. Just take a picture, sync it up to your computer, and you can do whatever you want with um, that image. You know, nothing terribly exciting. I also think we're going to see the final slow death of the iPod Classic. Moment of silence for the iPod Classic. It's the direct descendants of the original iPod, the one that really started Apple's resurgence. The click wheel iPod it sort of looks the same, but it just doesn't have a place anymore in Apple's lineup, unfortunately. Flash memory is getting cheaper and bigger. There really isn't that much room for a hard drive based iPod. I love the iPod, iPod Classic. I never really bought one recently, but I like the fact that it was there. It's sort of like having an old car in your garage. You know, you don't always drive it, but you like to know that if you ever want to drive it, you could. Might not be the most practical because gas mileage is bad and might not pass emissions testing, but, you know, it's there in case you ever want to use it. So I think it's sort of along the same lines. Sad for the iPod Classic, I think we're going to see it not. Um, iPod software and iPhone software 3.1. Like I said before, I think we're going to see some more video capabilities and uh, some editing capabilities. I think we're also going to see a new version of iTunes with some social networking features uh, built in. So Facebook, you can sort of easier to tell people what song you're listening to on iTunes. I don't know. Are you really going to use social networking on iTunes? iTunes already wears so many different hats that its sort of head is stacked up to the ceiling. You know, it's got a music playing hat, it's got a music downloading hat, a TV show hat, cat in the hat. I mean, just got so many different hats that, you know, what can you do with one application? Certainly it's useful for everything, but it's becoming so useful that it's completely ubiquitous. Really, you just think of, of iTunes and really you're not going to think of music downloading anymore. You're going to think of just everything. So I, I, I don't know, not that into it. I don't think we're going to see a tablet. I do think we're going to see Steve Jobs back there. And if Steve Jobs is not there, I think the Apple stock is going to take a huge hit. But I would expect Mr. Black Turtleneck to be there. Oh, don't be looking in his pockets for some sort of fancy tablet device because you're not going to see it. And if you are staring at his pockets, you might look a little bit creepy, especially if you're there in San Francisco. So just sort of a real quick recap of what I would expect and not expect. You know, what do you guys think? I'm doing a lot of gesturing with the hands. It's like I'm chopping things up. What do you guys think? Do you think I'm dead on, way off, not even close, don't know what I'm talking about? Leave a text or a video comments. And tomorrow, stay tuned for the channel for a full recap of what was announced. John Rettinger with TechnoBuffalo.com for exclusive content. Check me out at Twitter, twitter.com slash John4Lakers. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.